this is Tom Brown from Under the Canopy Farms, based in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, we peddle mostly dart frogs here at uh, Under the Canopy, and unlike what you may have heard, uh, dart frogs that are raised in captivity and born in captivity are completely safe animals. But these are the beautiful animals that come from uh, Central America and South America, and make uh, wonderful, make wonderful uh, terrarium subjects. Mm. They're as much of a pet as a fish would be, yeah, right? Much like aquaculture, right. a lot of doctor's offices that used to do a lot with tropical fish and marine fish have switched over to the dark rocks because they're very interesting animals, uh, very social animals. Uh, when they see the food coming to the front of the terrarium, they will come up and say hello to you. Mm. And the different color patterns are due to different geographic locations down in South America and in Central America. But basically, a lot of the frogs come from within a couple hundred miles you know, radius of each other. Okay, so the, are they all one species then? And these are kind of uh, subspecies, the different they, colors? Are, or? Yeah, that's probably arguable, but yeah, the, okay. a Tinctorus dart frog is a Tinctorus, and there are different color morphs of that same, okay. that same animal. So most dart frogs that you would see, in, at least in captivity, you can interbreed them if you wanted to? If you, well, it's high, it's kind of like the purebred dog and cat industry. Okay. That's highly, highly frowned upon. Okay. Now there is, there, right. there are people out there that are interbreeding it. They make interesting looking animals. But biologically, they can do it. Biologically, Okay, right, yes. okay, yes. okay. Dendrobates can, can crossbreed with dendrobates. Uh, phylobates to dendrobates are, would be very difficult to do. Got it. All right, Tom, thanks.